The first Android feature a lot of people do not know about is hidden in the developer's option. If you want to extend the coverage of your Wi-Fi using your smartphone, you can do that now with Android 10. Just go to your phone settings, then to the developer's option and scroll down to Wi-Fi coverage extend feature. Toggle on the feature and now you can enable your Wi-Fi and mobile hotspot at the same time and hence extend the Wi-Fi coverage using the Android 10 smartphone. Android 10 has included this monitoring feature in the system in order to help people track their phone usage. This is one of the hidden Android 10 feature that lot of people do not know about or they don't use it quite often. This feature can easily be found under the settings menu. Tapping on this option, you can see that it will give you a detailed analysis of your usage of each and every application that particular day. As you can see my usage of the application today. I have used YouTube, Netflix, Google Chrome, Instagram and others. And it is all represented in form of a chart. It also shows me the number of times I have received a notification or unlocked my phone. This in itself is pretty cool, but that's not it. We also get ways to disconnect from our phone and concentrate on our life outside the phone. There are three ways to deal with it. First one is the dashboard option using which you can set daily timers for most applications. When the app timer ends, the app is paused for the rest of the day. So if you don't want to spend more than a certain amount of time on a particular application, you can enable this option. Second one is the wind down option, which you can enable in order to set a bedtime schedule so you are not disturbed by the notification when you sleep. Relax your eyes as the night light will be turned on. Get a bedtime reminder and avoid interruptions. Third option is the focus mode, which will mute certain specific selected applications when you turn on the focus mode. People often use the battery saver option on their phone in order to extend the battery life in a time of need. Battery saver hence gets better with Android 10. Now you can turn battery saver on and off based on a schedule. It can either be below a certain battery percentage or be based on your routine. And by routine, I mean based on the pattern and timing of you charging your phone. This is another AI implementation by Google in the battery saver option, which makes it better. Apart from this, you get the usual detailed battery usage graph and the battery optimization features. We were able to record screens before but using a third party application. But now this feature is included in Android 10. You will get an option in the quick toggle saying screen recorder. Just tap on it and you are good to go. Using that feature itself, I have recorded all the shown screen recordings in this video. We have several setting options to tinker around with. It is like we can control the recording resolution, bit rate, number of frames per second, audio source which is quite cool as we get the option of recording the internal audio as well which is pretty nice inclusion for the game streamers. You can also record audios using the external microphone. We have other options too like video orientation and show touch operations. People always say that Android is unsafe and it invades our privacy. Hence to counter this Android 10 gives the user the option to give permission to the application. For example, earlier when you installed Facebook and it asked you for the location permission, you could either choose allow or you could use deny. In this case, Facebook could use your smartphone's location even in background when the app is not open. Same is the case with microphone permission. Certain apps took advantage of this in order to make a profile for advertising in background when you are not using this application and this was invasion of privacy but now with android 10 we get a third option which says allow when the app is in use hence by choosing this permission option the app will only be able to access the location or microphone only when the application is open and is running and will not be able to use it in the background thus respecting the privacy of the user this is the same case in ios as well The obvious change that everybody took notice of 
was the dark mode inclusion with Android 10. It is undoubtedly my favorite inclusion in Android 10. In order to turn dark mode on, we need to go to the setting, then customization and then select tone to dark. Most of the application went on board with this option and included dark mode in them, such as YouTube, Google Chrome, Crickbuzz and many other. But there are still several third-party applications which are still not included dark mode. But there is a way by which we can force them to go to the dark mode. For this, we need to go to the setting and then to the developers option and scroll down to override force dark and then enable that option and now you will be able to enjoy dark mode on each and every application and it works flawlessly. The process of uninstalling an application has evolved with every major Android update and it has gotten better with time. But still, it is annoying to uninstall unwanted application one by one as we do not get any multiple uninstall option. But there is a way around this and we can uninstall several applications together. For this, we need to go to the Play Store first and then to My Apps and Games and then go to Installed section and tap on Storage. There you will get a list of all the application installed on your device. Select all the applications that you want to uninstall and then click on free up. All the selected applications will be uninstalled together. Earlier in previous Android versions, whenever the music was playing on the phone, the music control options were present in the notification bar and it had the normal pause and play button and the previous and next song button and we could control that from the notification bar but we did not have the ability to seek but with the android version 10 update we have the luxury of seeking the music right from the notification bar it is a great addition for me as i listen to a lot of music and i hate switching to the music app again and again when i am using some other app or playing some game with music on quite a nifty addition for android Notification management has evolved with every single Android update and Android 10 update is no different. In Android 10, now we get the option of silent notification. So we can give preferences to notifications like which is important and which is not. There will be sound and vibration for important notifications whereas the other notifications will just be present in the notification bar silently. We also have the option of turning off notifications completely from a particular application. We can do that using the manage option or going to the settings itself. If you are one of those person who does not like when the screen turns itself off after a certain duration of inactivity, then this new feature inclusion is for you. Now you can keep your display on always awake mode when charging and you can turn this feature on by going to your phone setting and then into the developers option. Then you will have to scroll down to the stay awake option and you will have to toggle it on. This feature is not very useful for many users but if you ever need it, it's there. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you know about any other hidden Android 10 feature, be sure to mention that in the comment section down below. Give this video a like and hit the red subscribe button for more videos like this. With that being said, this is me Rahul signing off, bye bye now.